Hi, my name is Adam, and welcome to All of Our Homes. Today I want to talk to you about a great little book that's really been making me think a lot more about happiness, the nature of happiness, and how to create more happiness in my life. It's called The Little Book of Huga, Danish Secrets to Happy Living, um, by Mike Viking. Um, now, if you don't already know, Huga is this Danish concept for um, an atmosphere or feeling of coziness. And it has a lot more to do than just maybe being like cozy in your bed, uh, although that's also pretty huga. Um, but the book really gets into the details about what is huga and how and tips and ideas on how to bring huga into your own life. The author, Mike Viking, is quite an interesting guy. He's the founder and CEO of the Happiness Research Institute, um, which research is a think tank, and they research why some societies are happier than other societies. And, and what they found is year after year, Denmark was considered to be one of the happiest places on earth. Uh, so Mike Viking started to wonder why. Um, they've got terrible weather there. They've got some of the highest taxes, but maybe Huga has something to do with it. And if Huga equals happiness, how do we export this? How do we share this with the world? Now, let me give you an example from the book in terms of what a huga is, because it's not just coziness, as I mentioned before. Uh, and the author gives this like ultimate example of like what the ultimate huga moment is. So picture this. You are, you've just spent a full day um, doing a full day of hiking in the woods. And then you go back to your cabin, you're with friends and family, and you're making a nice meal together, and you sit down at a candlelit dinner with all of you together having a wonderful conversation, and maybe there's a fire in the background, and maybe there's a cat nearby, and everybody's wearing sweaters. This is like ultimate huga. It's a moment that just kind of makes you feel warm and good inside. And that's what the, the goal of Huga is. It's, it's like a, a cultivated moment that you're, you're trying to achieve. Now this is the ultimate example of Huga, but the book describes the simple ways in which Huga can be uh, integrated into your everyday life. Uh, there's some basic concepts for creating Huga um, that he talks about. First, candles. Candles are number one. You got it. You could sometimes you can even have candles at work to create that huga feeling. Beautiful lighting and design, home design, uh, is very important to Danes, as you as you may know. Uh, in fact, there's some very famous lighting uh, designers who are from Denmark, uh, who basically like all Danes know about. Taking time to drink coffee and tea, hot beverages in a cold climate are very important. Uh, sharing a meal with friends and loved ones, connecting with nature, and creating proper work-life balance. Uh, and he goes into great detail about how to achieve all of these things and how uh, these things are done in Denmark, which is very interesting. In Denmark, Huga is part of the national identity, kind of like individual freedom is here in the United States. So Huga is like integrated into like all aspects of life in Denmark, from your work life to how you design your home to how you, you know, spending your free time or how you celebrate your holidays. Everything has, everything is Huga-like. I mean, they even have, they even have vocabulary to describe the different types of Huga things can be. For example, there's Huga Hjørnet, which means to be in the mood for Huga, like I'm in Huga Hjørnet. Or you could say Huga Buxer, which means the clothes, like the cozy pants that you wear when you're at home, like I'm in my Huga, Huga Buxer today, so I'm not going outside. Huga Kre, which means you're literally like Huga Corner, you gotta get in your little Huga space. Like let's go have a coffee in our Huga Kre, Huga Snack which means having a little chit-chat, like a cozy little chit-chat. We're having our huga snack. Huga stun, which means a moment of huga. For example, he poured himself a coffee and sat in his window for a huga stun. So in summary, 
I really enjoyed this book. Um, I think, you know, aside from the overall descriptions of what Huga is, uh, it also talks about what Huga means in other countries, uh, how they would describe Huga in other places. Uh, there's a lot of, like, charts and graphs. Uh, and because uh, the author is from this Happiness Research Institute, it is really well researched. It's got um, a number of interesting bits of information that seem really well researched. It's not just a fly-by-night um, sort of style book, uh, but it does have a lot of uh, nice ideas. It's got recipes, it's got design ideas. Uh, so I think it's, and it's also really made me think a bit about the nature of happiness and how Huga is, how, you know, maybe a way of finding that happiness. So I think that's what I took from the book and which I think I'd like to explore a bit more. Um, and I'm going to be talking more about Huga on all of our homes. Um, I'll be trying out some of the tips and recipes from this book and sharing them with you. Uh, so please, if you want to see more of this, uh, subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.